The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Welcome uh, to our Thursday service. And today we remember Florence Nightingale, who is dear to my heart and who still is to this day honored as the founder of the modern profession of nursing. And our collect for this day, life-giving God, you alone have power over life and death over health and sickness. Give power, wisdom, and gentleness to those who follow the lead of Florence Nightingale, that they, bearing with them your presence, may not only heal, but bless, and shine as lanterns of hope in the darkest hours of pain and fear. Through Jesus Christ, the healer of body and soul, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. When the Son of Man comes in his glory, all the angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. All the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate people one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will put the sheep on his right hand, and the goats on the left. Then the king will say to those at his right hand, Come, you that are blessed by my Father, Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you gave me clothing. I was sick, and you took care of me. I was in prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry and gave you food? or thirsty and gave you something to drink? And when was it that we saw you a stranger and welcomed you, or naked and gave you clothing? And when was it we saw you sick or in prison and visited you? And the king will answer them, truly I tell you, just as you did it to one of the least of these, you are members of my family, you did it to me. Hear what the spirit is saying to the church. We remember Florence Nightingale chiefly for her work during the Crimean War, which took place between 1854 and 1856. Hearing the voice of God and animated by the spirit of service, she organized the first modern, modern nursing service in the British field hospitals at Scalteri and Balaclava. In the midst of appalling conditions, she was tireless in her efforts to relieve the suffering of wounded and dying soldiers. Her solitary vigils in the hospital wards led to the popular press to call her the Lady of the Lamp and the Angel of Scalteri. Within four years of her return from Crimea, Nightingale's health broke down and she eventually became a housebound invalid but she continued to influence public policy and her labors helped to disperse the age-old prejudice 
against nurses, giving their profession high respectability. Her example also helped to liberate middle class women from their subordinate and passive role in society. By the time of her death at the age of 90, her reputation had assumed mythical proportions. And to this day, she is still honored as the founder of the modern profession of nursing. Florence Nightingale. As we stand in God's presence, let us pray to the Lord, saying the response, Lord, have mercy. For the whole people of God, that each one may be a true and faithful servant of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those drawing near to the light of faith, that the Lord will bring them to true knowledge of himself, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our families and friends, that the Lord will give them joy and satisfaction in all that they do, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who are lonely, sick, hungry, persecuted, or ignored, that the Lord will comfort and sustain them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, that the Lord will help us to contribute to its true growth and well-being, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the whole human family, that we may live together in justice and peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For diocesan, diocesan pandemic prayer, loving God, whose peace passes all our understanding, as we face this present pandemic and experience fear and anxiety, may we hear your voice bringing calm to the storms of our time. Strengthen those who work to limit the spread of infection and those who seek to care for the sick and keep us mindful of those most vulnerable. May we shape our living to protect one another and may our changing habits practices and sacrifices be for the greater love of our community and all your people. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Let us go forth in the name of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you. 